There we go. Oh shoot! No! No! <laughs> Damn it! It's a good thing I saved recently. As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Roger, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. I've been Rimworld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute Order 66. Oh, good God. Let's just see if we can ignore them completely and get right in there. Don't mind me. Oh, shoot, that's... Oh god. Oh god! I thought that was my objective, not just a distraction, and what is... <sighs> okay, Uthgird, I'm gonna need you to be real careful here. No! <sighs> you try and warn them. the uh, 16-9 form factor aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Boomer both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That... could work. He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? Jump yeah. into target sector. Achievement unlocked. Explorer. So I'm trying to control your attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. 
Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Oh boy. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. We're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time in a few days this time. But there's a bit of a difference. We're going to be playing it on PlayStation 5 instead of on PC, at least for an hour. Uh, we'll have to see where we go from there. I don't know yet how I'm going to like playing it on console versus uh, computer with keyboard and mouse. I suspect keyboard and mouse is, of course, going to be the obvious and best solution. But uh, let's get into it, shall we? There we go. Now, I have this all set up. The game is installed, and I went through a couple of very small hoops to get my cloud saves onto the PlayStation. It was actually pretty easy. It was automatic. It's just that when it uh, brought them in initially, it only brought in the most recent five saves, which all happened to be saves from my off-stream game. So I had to jump around just a tiny little bit to get the purity save over here. So I've got one save from the purity playthrough, uh, which is in... Shara's Gauntlet, the Mausoleum, in Act 2. So we're going to carry on with that and see how things go. So let's load this. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, right. I forgot. We were in the silent library within the, uh, within the gauntlet. Oh, this is interesting. 80 hours, 20 minutes playtime on this playthrough. And then somehow I've done more than 24 hours on my off-stream playthrough too. Although I suspect with the off-stream playthrough, uh, there's probably more than a few hours that I was not actively playing, but just had the game running. <clears throat> In other news, I commented to this effect on Discord. Uh, Starfield is absolutely 100% definitely the new Fallout 4. It was actually really difficult and slightly painful to tear myself away from it long enough to play this today. So we'll have to see what goes on in the future. I, I just... I... I, I really love living the Han Solo life, going around and just, uh, you know, scraping by, earning money, and dumping all of it into my ship. That's kind of what I want to be doing. <laughs> but I also want to get through this, and I want to finish Zelda. And I'm still, like, Baldur's Gate 3, in spite of that, Baldur's Gate 3, still my top choice for Game of the Year this year so far. And at this point, I'm pretty convinced... That's where it's just going to end up. I, I don't think anything else is going to top this. Okay. Oh, oh, this is... This is not bad. It's weird, but it's not bad. The final sacrifice... It is said that the Sacred Spear was, one, was once wielded by the Night Singer herself and now awaits her chosen champion. The Elders have placed it in a secret place, safe until its intended wielder discovers it. With it in hand, a final sacrifice can be made at last, and the foul moon with Saluna shall weep bitter tears and forsake her misguided followers. But let no ambitious of the night be tempted to seize the spear for themselves unbidden, for they shall find it an inert bauble. Stripped of its holy purpose. Let all of Sh Lady Shara's children be honored to protect the sacred instrument. 
When the time comes, they shall know they aided the progress of Lady Shar's destined warrior and helped usher in a return to the endless ecstasy of oblivion. Okay. You can read books and notes you have picked up in your inventory. Uh, okay. You know, this is not a bad interface, I gotta say. It's pretty playable. Uh oh. That'll do. Uh, I think you're confused, PS5. A dusty tome advising Sharon initiates on how to please the Night Singer by succeeding the self same trial. Initiates must ensure they defeat their mirror image. Any violence meted out to others will be penalized. Okay, that one's empty. It feels a little bit clumsy compared to PC, but I'm impressed at how how usable this is. It's not as awkward as I might have expected. Okay, those are empty. I'm glad somebody succeeded on that. It's awkward having a party where basically everybody is useless in perception. It's also weird having to navigate to a thing in order to inspect it. I'm used to just clicking on it, and then they go and do the thing afterwards. I love when everyone fails perception on a trap, and then someone immediately walks into it right after someone goes, Oh, hey, a trap. <laughs> True. How are you doing, Cleric? It's good to see you. Um, hello, Wall. Thank you. We can't leap down that tiny... Wow, okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so that is medium toughness. It is locked. Presumably there is a way... Come on, guys. May the darkness protect you. <laughs> Look out for that. Yeah, that. Hey, Aaron, Laura. Hey, CD. What's going on? Uh... Interesting. I'm not sure how to switch characters. <clears throat> oh, thank you for the shout out. Uh, you've uh, been bitten by the Starfield bug, have you? I have to admit, it's 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 hurting a little to not be playing Starfield right now. It truly is the new Fallout form. Uh, okay, how do I control Asterion? That's no. 
Just procrastinating for a bit here before an appointment. No worries. Uh, things are good. I'm a little bit late today. Other than that, I'm enjoying being back in the uh, library here. Doing pretty good. I feel awake and energized for once in a long while. Oh, that's awesome. And I think my new meds might actually be helping. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, it does say L2, but... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That's how we do it. Careful. Okay. Yeah, it's as easy as that. That's way too easy. What did I just trigger? Can't give up now. Can't we? I do like having more control over character speed. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Trap. Be cautious. And here? No. Shadowheart? Asterian? Be careful. There are traps about. Right, this is why I was using Asterian as my main character, my lead character here. Let's go back to that. Be careful. There are traps about. Thank you for pointing that out. That was uh that was good. No. Come on, guys. That might be worth a look. Thank you, Shadowheart. What the heck? Calendary 39. 39. Holy bubblegum Batman. <laughs> nice. That sounded awesome. Thank you, Calendary, for 39 heckin' months. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Do I want to bother disarming these? Now that we know they're there, they're doing pretty well avoiding them. Lady, Char's no Lady Char knows what you bury deep inside your spirit. She knows what pains you and gnaws away your very being. Be open with her about your failings. Let her place the soothing hands of oblivion upon your wounds. Let her know you utterly so she can release you from your shackles. I'm doing good today. Running a little bit behind, but other than that, it's pretty good. I've got to say, I'm impressed with the interface on PS5 for the game. It's working really well. It's very playable. It feels quite different. But it feels pretty good. I do... <clears throat> I like having more control over the specific characters. No, I don't want the candles. I want the... Give me... There, the books. Okay, that's... That there was a little bit awkward. But other than that... How about no, Lady Char? Exactly, Cleric. Lady Char knows what I buried. I had better get the shovel. Yes. That's why we keep finding stuff. It's because Shadowheart is with us, and uh, Lady Char whispers in her ear that something's buried nearby. Emptiness is a holy state, one to be pursued and admired. To void oneself of all feeling, all attachment, is to approach the purity of Lady Shar's embrace. We each must struggle in our own way to turn from the temptations of light and l life. Remember that all those false comforts will betray you in the end. Only the sacred nothingness will endure. Alright, what else have we got in here? Okay, so that's the door switch. Sharon Initiates Notes. 
to the body mobile. I'm kind of wondering what using my controller would be like on PC, but I'm so used to clicking around for everything now. It's an interesting thought. I could try that. I do have my Starfield controller. And I noped out of using it for Starfield very quickly, but, uh, you know, I actually don't mind it for Baldur's Gate so far. A scrap of parchment covered in desperate scrawled guesswork. If the rumors are true, the answer lies within the pages of these books. It must do. A hidden way to become first among all dark justiciers? How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter if I was not commanded to walk this path. Lady Char will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. I will scour every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place at her right hand. Okay, so that's just the candles. That did nothing. Hmm. I wonder if we have to close the grate behind us to do it. Or if maybe... Riddle of the Night. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? <clears throat> I think I need my main for this one. Or possibly Shadow Heart. What can silence the night song? Day song? I don't. <laughs> Maybe? I mean, I, I think we've got to work with the, the constraints of what we've actually found. I don't think I have a day song. Orders from B. Teachings of loss, forgetting and loss. I mean, that honestly, that probably could do it. Tome of the Soft Step Trial, probably not. Teachings of Lost, The Night Singer. I mean, The Night Singer could silence the night song, one would think. The Final Sacrifice of the Moon Daughter. No. What can silence the night song? I did not just lose that book, did I? No, okay. It gave it back. Oh. Hang on. Oh. What can silence the night song? Oh, and now I actually did lose it. Oh, no, wait, it's... Can I not take that back, please? Oh, that's... What? <clears throat> Riddle of the Night? What can silence the night song? Huh.
What can silence the night song? Okay, so it was the night singer. <clears throat> Trying to use my Xbox controller and it's not working. Uh, maybe you might. Are there any preferences that need to be set up or anything? How do I manually save here? Okay. I guess I can't just quick save anymore. It's a thing under options, you have to choose to use it. Yeah, it's even worse with Starfield. I found that when I loaded it up, I couldn't just connect my controller and pick it up and play. I had to quit the game and restart, and then if I wanted to go back to keyboard and mouse, I had to do the same thing. I had to, you know, quit the game turn my controller off because it's actually Bluetooth. It's not as simple as just unplugging it. And then I had to reload the game to use keyboard and mouse. Uh, there might be quick save error in there, but this is my first time ever playing on the console, so I have no idea how I would do it. Also, I'm not sure exactly how, how, what, how, how, how. How do I sneak? Okay, so there's how you get your interactions. You just hold down the right button. <clears throat> but how? Stealth. Let's go. Hey, Unstara, what's going on? Options, controls. Controller. Context menu, maybe. No. Map and hold for journal, manage party, character actions, L1. Jump, to hold to toggle light source, previous target. Oh. There we go. I am struggling to learn to use this with a controller, but honestly, you know, they've done a really good job with the controls on PlayStation. The controller controls, it feels a bit different. It feels like you've got a little bit more direct control of the character you're using. I kind of like it. I still think I probably prefer keyboard and mouse, but it's a lot closer than I would have expected. Spear of Night. Now, I suspect we're going to want Shadow Heart to pick that up. I need to concentrate. This is no ordinary spear. It may be important. Best keep it close. Yes, now. Oh. 
Oh, what is that? Magical durability. The wielder has a plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. Covert critical. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Constitution saving throws plus one. Adorned in a fanned coronet of spear tip points, its mask fixed with stiff lipped intent, this helmet evokes a frightful, almost alien aspect that gestures to Shar, for she is strange and terrible indeed. Okay. There is work to do. Uh. This is the map of your surroundings. You can view quest locations and place custom markers. You can also teleport to waypoints you have discovered by selecting them. Doesn't look like we're quite finished yet, does it? So this is the library. We haven't really gone here enough yet. Uh, how, hang on, how do I do inventory again? That's more like the quick bar. Hmm. Whoa. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, um... No, that wasn't a glitch. That was just the camera moving. That happens on PC as well. Character actions. Manage party. Oh, it was, but it was just the camera. Uh, it's because I was jumping. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. That's how you target stuff that you're not right in front of. So, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so that's just scrolling through all my abilities. It's like a multi-dimensional wheel interface. That's weird, but kind of... It's clever and works, I suppose. But how the heck do you do inventory? Well, that's photo mode. Uh, actions are one, but... Unless maybe inventory is one of these actions.
weird. Betwixt, how's it going? Uh, it's not just controller mode betwixt. I'm actually playing on PlayStation 5 today. And I'm having a heck of a time accessing character inventory. I'm going to play for at least an hour on PS5. Then I may or may not go back to PC. We'll have to see. Shortcut menu is R2. But we've already looked through this. Oh, maybe character sheet. There we go. Okay, so it's character sheet. You have to access the character sheet. Okay, mystery solved. We're good now. Uh, no, it, it's been out for a couple of days now, I believe. You probably thought it was tomorrow because what day is today? Uh, the 6th. Oh, actually, you know, tomorrow might be the official release date, but I had pre-ordered some time ago. So I got it, and I, I guess I've still got early access. But also Starfield's official release date for non-early access users is tomorrow, too. So a lot of stuff happening tomorrow. No worries, Aaron Lord. Good luck with the appointment. Yeah, I like the performance. It looks really good. Okay, why is her head exploding? your secrets to the night. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Shroud yourself in blackest night. That one looks like it's busted. Okay, now we also picked up the Spear. Spear of Night. Shar's Blessing. If Shar allows it, use the Spear to kill Night Song. Okay, let's go back to using Asterion. Watch your back. Let's also see. There. That helped. That did help. And let. Uh, no, let's save. for the wicked I see oh god Gail has got so many options oh jeez okay uh where is too far okay hang on I just want to have the spell cast. Too 
two damage. Can't target undead. All right, never mind. Trust no one. All right, Mulder. Whatever you say. It is kind of neat on Star. I kind of like it. I still think I like... Oh, oh, interesting. I still think I like keyboard and mouse better, but the controller interface is actually pretty impressive. It feels a little more immediate in your control of whichever character you happen to be controlling at the moment. I always enjoy seeing how devs figure out controller schemes in complex games. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few stumbling blocks like figuring out inventory and realizing that obviously you need to open your character sheet for that because that wasn't immediately obvious. But, you know, I've always gotten it and it's been interesting. Okay, I guess we're not going down that way. I think she's got... Oh, actually, never mind. I was trying to make her use her see invisible power, but uh, I forgot. She's the one that we did the, um, the Volo thing with. So she doesn't have to ever actually use that. She's just inherently got it forever now. I like that this feels a little bit more like actually exploring, I've got to say. An infernal ritual circle. Ooh, someone's been very naughty. <laughs> His dialogue is just amazing. I don't see any possible situation in which this ends up being uh, no no Someone's been very naughty. come on guys back this way you're in my way i'm trying to light all the candles because what could possibly go wrong an infernal ritual of friendship i think you might be right Stop getting... Oh, my God. You guys. This is one case where I am really, really, really missing having a mouse. Okay, that did a whole load of nothing. Uh, there is a way. I don't remember offhand what that way is. Oh, split. Okay.
Back. Ew. Weird. Oh, there's a book there. In each of us is more than we are, parts and multitudes that form our thoughts, desires, nature itself. Manifold are the creatures inside you, and what you can become when you speak my words is all your parts made manifest. Your weakness can become a strength if it is made legion. Quaking hearts can find courage in their numbers. The lowliest vermin can humble a Goliath if they stand as an army, and a ruin can become a kingdom for one soul made many. Speak Itori Mustag thrice. Become your finest self, all of them. Raphael. A spell to divide one into many. <laughs> Gosh, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it a bit for down here. Unless... No? Okay. I keep thinking there's something on the ground because I see something shiny, but it's just the water. I guess there's no way to go down that way, huh? That's the library again. This feels like a good save point. Although I've got to be up, uh, got to be careful playing on the PS5. I noticed that it only saves the five most recent saves. So it's not like PC where I can have a list of 30 or 50 or whatever. We should probably have the rest of the group with us. Come on, guys. You too, Purity. There, up, there, there we go. That's better. Uh, can we... Oh, there we go. Now, have we been here before? Man, I want to save the game again already. It... Okay, we have definitely been here before. Okay, so we came in here. We had this thing here. We... We've been here, we... Or did we enter? I guess we entered from here, maybe.
Uh, actually, yes. Yes, Unstar, I wouldn't mind that. I'm going to take that as a subtle hint to go back. No, stop pickpocketing your party members. I th thought we left that behavior behind on PC. No! <sighs> Gale. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't want to go on a rat hunt. I don't think that's worth it. No, but it's still a hunt. And I don't know that I feel like doing it. Okay, now where did we leave our friends? See, the problem is this all looks really cool and awesome from an almost, I mean, it's a little further out, but almost an over the shoulder kind of view. But it means that everything looks just different enough that I'm a little disoriented and having trouble remembering what things were from when I saw them more on PC, because I'm used to it looking more like this most of the time. No, uh, we fought him once, Cleric, and died for our trouble pretty severely. Oh, okay, this this is where we were when we fought them, actually. Which means, now that I remember that, I remember just enough about it that we can go over here. And I believe this is... Was it here? This doesn't look right. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah. Surmount her trials and rise a dark justicia. In the gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. I surrendered most of my memories to help protect Shah's secrets, yet I still remember the stories of the Gauntlet. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. Okay. For that, we definitely Don't want her. Any mistakes. The inscription's challenge remains the same. Do I not have stuff? does can't use this but do we not put that on the thing to do the thing that would make sense to me oh 
Oh, I like this. Thought another option came. Yeah, there. Wait. There we go. Open journal to learn more. Wait. Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. We found an altar in front of a locked door. There are three slots for umbral gems. We'll need to find more if we want to enter the temple's inner sanctum. We inserted an umbral gem into the altar. This activated a platform that will allow us to travel deeper into the temple. We acquired another umbral gem from one of Shara's trials. We acquired a new umbral gem from Shara's trials twice. We found an umbral gem more needed to unlock the temple's inner sanctum. How many did we find? That can't all just be the same one, can we? Can it? We must have done several. I don't know yet. Oh, Asterion has one of them. Okay, you know what? I think on console, it's going to be a lot more important to occasionally split the group. Why they can't just give you the option to insert an item from there, I don't know. There was a way to specifically target a thing there. Oh my god, this is such a pain in the butt. I can't help but feel this would be much easier on PC. But I think this is maybe the first thing I've found that really gives me that feeling. 
overall still pretty impressive. I'm looking for the interaction to use an item with this thing instead of just use the thing. Wait, into this one? Oh, is this another one here? It doesn't look the same, though. Hey, Greeny, how's it going? The next one is the others. Traversal gem. Big round disc behind Shadow Heart activated when you put that one in. Okay. Break coming up in five minutes. I think we'll keep playing on this for the time being. How are you doing, Greeny? I hope you're doing well today. Okay, so that one only takes two. Had some interesting encounters last night that you weren't expecting. Very nice. Hmm. Okay. This would be the other one. That's it? Okay, so we have two more we have to get, apparently. The city is dense? Yes. Explored four buildings. Oh my god, Greeny. How many hours are you up to in your playthrough, by the way? Because I thought this was interesting. I'm now up to 81 hours 15 minutes on my streamed playthrough. And on my off-stream play, I've got 25 hours 25 minutes. Now, I don't suppose... We don't have any more Umbral Stones yet, do we? No. Uh, 
uh, Gale is the keeper of the scrolls. No, okay. No more stones yet. So, hmm. Oh no, it's been a week or two since I last played this. I, I don't remember exactly where each stone came from. I know we did the sneaking test. And we did the library. And let me see, where else? Uh, oh, we did the, the soft step trial and the self same trial. One twenty-five hours, 26 minutes. Damn, greeny, nice. Okay, guys, I need to take my break real quick. So, if you will bear with me, I'm just going to go. Oh, thank you, PlayStation. Um, yeah, if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a really good time to do it, and I will meet you back here in just a few. I'm going to go make myself some more coffee. Oh, yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! Then why don't you take off the ask me about loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, you build the actual family tree? What? Oh, wow. This is really hecking cool. Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. Oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? Right. We 
mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. The agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Hulda! Hulda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Hulda. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. He's never gonna get ahead in life, but we will. Corpse lies before you. Oh, it's a strength check? Maybe I should use Carlac. This is why I pick up possibly important corpses and carry them on my characters who aren't in the party. Oh god. I hope you never find employment as an executioner. You've do you want to do this? The head from the drow's twisted neck. How are you not dead? Excuse me. some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Well, I guess we should help him out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> I'd, uh, really appreciate Even him, only 30 nanites, wow. You had a free pass right into their base. Okay, I'm back. Oh, that I was just wondering which interaction you were talking about, Cleric. I've got several clips of her, uh, but that was a particularly good one. <laughs> Thank you, Ansara. Thank you, Greeny. Uh... Right. Controller. That's weird. I'll get used to that. Maybe. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm impressed at how fun it is with the controller. Some things are a little more awkward, a little more cumbersome, a little slower to interact with. But for the most part, it actually works really, really well. Oh, uh, we do want... Asterion in the lead, though. Okay, so that is the explosive room where she inflicts her pain. Tiny Tita's chaotic great addition makes the entire choice for September worth it. That's a 70 buck game. Oh, nice. Is that... Wait, is that the full game that's, like, the whole D&D &D thing? Because I've been wanting to play that. I'm not going to get to it anytime soon because I've got this to go through and I am horrifically, atrociously addicted to Starfield, but we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Hmm. 
Now, I believe this was where we followed the Displacer Beast, right? I used to like Karth, but as I've gotten older, I've realized how much of a poo-poo head he is. When I streamed that game, that whole playthrough, Karth used to be one of my favorite characters, but I had exactly the same experience. I found it very difficult to sympathize with him at all. He was just always so constantly terrible. I really did not like him. I had a similar experience when I went through the Mass Effect Legendary edi ed uh, Edition with... Um, with Garrus, who used to be one of my favorite characters in the game. He is really bad. I, I just did not get along with him at all. It was kind of weird. Okay, so that's the soft step trial. How the heck do I get to the other stuff? I guess it looks like there's stuff up around here. Unless this is the edge of the map. I guess we haven't done everything over here. Let's go explore back this way. Seeking to become dark justices, I will follow in their path. I will succeed. First, we have to actually locate the trials, Shadowheart. There were so many moments in my last play with Karth, and I was like, how did I not see how much of a poop you are? Funny, isn't it, how our tastes and characters can evolve over time? It's an unexpected extra layer of replayability for old RPGs. You are so right. It really is. Did we search this guy? Yes, we did. That or he was empty to begin with. Oh, there's this door here. Unless, wait, is that the door? No. No. I will re Oh, that was the self-same trial. Wasn't it? Oh. Okay. Maybe not. Faith Leap Trial. So, they've got some vertical stacking going on. You can't just rely on the map, then. Interesting. Oh, you're filling me with such anticipation, Anstara. Save? Okay. Can't reach destination. What comes now? Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial to judge the metal of Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. Said to be sure of foot in even the darkest recesses of Lady Shah's embrace. I must remember where to step. And have faith that she will guide me. Okay, then. I must remember where to step. And have faith that she will guide me. Oh, the ang with the right angle, you can see where the platforms are. Sort of. Uh, 
Uh, okay. New problem. How exactly do I jump? Transpositional flux? What the heck? You didn't see the floor at all. Maybe your brightness settings weren't interesting on Stara. Oh, well, I could see how if you can't see the tiles, that would be beneficial, but it was just as easy. You just use tactical view to see the path. Interesting, Greeny. At some angles, I could see it. Then I realized the path was laid out in gold at your feet at the altar you give blood at. Oh, oh, you're right. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. My faith protects me. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Shadow Heart, we do have a new orb. For me, it was entirely based on the map at the entrance. Yeah, but you still died a lot. The map under your feet, that's what I used and it was rough. I believe it. I have no trouble believing that at all. But that was worth saving. And it's worth saving again now that I've got the next orb. Although, actually, hang on. Where is... Nope. I really should mostly be having Asterion lead because he's the one that's actually got perception. And that is the... that Wait, that's the library again. Is there not another... Did I miss an orb in here? Or what happened? You guys can answer that. That's not a rhetorical question. Is there an orb that I should have picked up in the library? Or is this not considered to be a trial? I have now officially completed three trials, yes. Not the library, okay. No orb in the library, not a trial. There is something here, though. Did I not already get this? I got the mask or the helm, and I got the spear. I did forget to take my book back, though. If you got the spear, you're good? Okay. The spear of the night was the important bit. Yeah, I got that. Shadowheart is using that as her main weapon now.
You know, I will say, as awkward as it is occasionally playing with controller, it's really not that awkward. And I do really kind of like how close to the character and how almost over the shoulder it is. It makes the feel world feel a bit more immediate and... I don't know, it's like almost a little bit more immersive in a way. PC defaults to maybe something more like this. And I'm really appreciating this more. Her most sacred path. Okay, what was... Oh, this is the... Is this the big staircase all the way back up? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, oh hang on. What's this over here? That's got to be the entrance to another lower level trial, right? So how the heck do I get over there? I wish you could navigate up and down the map. Because it looks like it's kind of overlaid and that's awkward as heck. Okay, so not here. And clearly not here. I'll admit, without spoilers, the final orb was not very intuitive, at least to me. Hex, how's it going? Balancing the force with the spawn of Baldur's Gate 3, it hurts, honestly. Part of me really wants to be playing Starfield right now. Something about that game, it, it's living that whole Han Solo life. Just going around from planet to planet, exploring, occasionally picking up contraband, smuggling it into ports, selling it for profit, pouring all of my money into upgrading my ship. I am so into that game. It's kind of ridiculous. That doesn't look right. I found it by accident, my violently explorative way. <laughs> that sounds like most of us getting sucked into Starfield, but I like to balance it with oxygen not included. Nice. Well, this is a good counterpoint because it's another RPG, but it's a vastly different RPG. And the more I play this, the more into it again I get again, which is good, because this is supposed to take, what, like 200 hours to get through, and I'm not even at 100 yet. I'm just over, I think, 81. So, got a ways to go yet. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to... No, not that. I was going to... What am I to do? Place another orb. Okay, that's two. Locked. 
Spill the blood of Saluna and rise a warrior of shock. Journal updated. We found a plaque that claims the Night Song is in the Temple of Shar. We found a plaque disclosing the fact that Night Song isn't a relic. She's a woman, caged, and somehow mixed up in the business of Catherick's invulnerability. Uh, what? Oh, uh, Nadala, welcome on in. I am a paladin monk. Baldur's Gate isn't a game I'm likely going to play, so no spoilers here from me. Excellent, Hex. I like Starfield, but I find myself getting confounded by the limitations on carry weight. Now that I know there's an unlimited vault in my lodge room, though, I might have more fun with it. Yeah, I've been kind of eyeing that one as well on Star. Uh, I might have to use my off-stream, or my, uh, my, my on-world storage more. But it's not just the lodge. You can also buy homes, even if you don't start with a dream home. And you can store stuff there as well what I've been doing or what I did at the beginning before I found a place where I could go to equip my ship with a shielded cargo bay for smuggling was I uh, just anytime I got contraband I would go back to my home and just drop it in one of the rooms there and then go back later and pick it up again there's an actual vault or safe or whatever yeah it, yeah, well, that's actually, Nadala, that's actually why I chose Paladin Monk, is because it's unusual and you don't really see it very often. So what I've done is, because, um, because monks can go either way, strength or dexterity, I've gone with a dexterity-based build. And I was really hoping that I would be able to just sort of use my channel divinity holy smiting ability with unarmed attacks. Sadly, it turns out that doesn't actually work. But um, you can just use a monk weapon if you want to do the uh, smiting blower, whatever they call it. I don't remember offhand. I've got Starfield on the brain, and uh, you can use it that way. But I've actually been having a massive amount of fun with it, even if it's not necessarily the end-all and be-all of combat performance builds. The conversation options have been amazing because both paladins and monks have this kind of religious undertone to them and a sort of, um, well, it's actually kind of an interesting contrast in them morally and ethically because paladins tend to be fairly judgmental no matter what their alignment and monks tend to be more sort of even keeled balance. So it, it's been one of the most fun characters I've ever had a chance to roleplay, if that makes sense. Trying to figure out where she would land on all the different options. Okay, so we're not looking for it here either. I went with Lore Bard, but I wanted to do more damage between debuffing, so I put level 2 Warlock. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding there are a few limitations with my party. I particularly don't seem to have any characters that are really, really great at perception. <laughs> Asterion's about the best I've gotten. He's not half bad, don't get me wrong. But I have nobody that's really, really great at it. I'm kind of struggling to spot things on occasion. So I usually have Asterion lead the group, at least in this place where traps are pretty much everywhere. I'm the professor as my background in Starfield, and I'm hardcore doing the science-y stuff in the game. Very nice, Hex. I went with Explorer as my background, and I took Dream Home, I took Kid Stuff, so I've got my parents. By the way, I, I commented on this in the Discord. 
it kind of bothered me when I visited my parents and I went through the dialogue with them and it all seemed very sweet and awesome and it was really heartwarming. But the voices sounded vaguely familiar and I couldn't place it and didn't really think too much about it. And then I learned last night watching another friend playing Starfield. Uh, I was watching Aitre and she's a huge Trekkie. She's like a massive Star Trek fan. Uh, maybe more than I am even. And she pointed out that your mom is voiced by Nana Visitor, who played Major Kira on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and your dad is voiced by Tim Russ, who played Tuvok on Voyager. So both of them are Star Trek actors. And then you've also got Armin Shimmerman, as I believe he is uh, Walter Stroud, one of your, like, uh, he's the CEO of one of the big companies, and he's one of the guys in the Constellation group with you. So there's all kinds of Star Trek actors all in that game, and it's really, really awesome. I wonder if I can make a Monk Barbarian work. Oh, that'd be a fun combination. I mean, talk about your opposites. Unbridled rage with a Monk's level-headedness and even keel. Oh man, that'd be weird. Punching and throwing. I thought Ranger for dual hand crossbows. Level 2 Ranger might be too low to be good. Not just too... Oh, <laughs> no, actually, he did not play Tuvix. They had a different actor for Tuvix. Okay. How do we find this last trial? It's going to turn out that finding the fourth trial is actually completing the fourth trial. No, that was not what I wanted. If you can find the fourth trial, you have already passed it. Absolutely, it'd be a strength monk. That's my main character, simply a strength monk. Nice. That was the Faith Leap trial. That is the library. There, oh, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. No, that's not quite right either, is it? See, it looks like it should be on the other side of this wall, but it would have to be lower because it would have to be underneath. This place is sprawling. You know what? I wouldn't mind a hint. I think for this I'll take a hint. Actually, maybe we go... Can't go that way, can we? Well, since I'm here, I guess we could...
rat stares at you. It almost seems like it wants your attention. Now that's interesting. Why did that not happen before? That's not going to quite work, is it? No, I'm not actually. I was using Asterion before. Beady, malicious eyes stare at you. The rat probably wants to feast on your corpse along with its friends. <laughs> I love how we've all got weapons at the ready to murder this one rat. Oh, first combat. Oh god, how do I do combat? Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Um... So did I do that wrong on Stara? Or did I do that right? It's fine? Okay. You need to kill more than one. What if we go and kill that guy we need to kill for Asterion? Or does it have to be a rat? That's a thing to do? Yeah. I'm kind of hoping that if I wait until after I've done everything else here, maybe we'll have items and abilities and who knows, maybe even another level that'll make the battle a little simpler. Oh, I like that it gives you the tags for the, each character. Baldurian, Half-High Elf, Half-Elf, Humanoid, Monk, and Oath of Devotion. It's interesting, too, that Way of the Open Hand and Sage are not tags. Huh. Okay, I'm not going to hold my breath on gaining another level. I'm not quite halfway there yet. But items could be a big factor. So about that hint for the uh, next trial, what are we looking at doing then? Can we... No? Okay. Can't go that way. Oh, they're not happy with me, are they? Let's go over here. Oh, are they not coming with us? Oh, what? That's interesting. Oh, 
Okay, rat, you're in my way. Guys, out of the way. I need to interact with the thing. This is the kind of thing that would drive me back to keyboard and mouse. There we go. A ritual circle seems to be infernal in nature. Oh, so I have a different reaction to it than Asterion does. A ritual circle and an infernal one at that. What's it doing here? Hmm. Now where are they all going? One of them went back down there. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, I'm not really doing the speak with animals thing very much this run. I figure I'll save that for another playthrough, where that will be one of the main focuses. Because that'll be a very good way. I mean, I'm not too worried about keeping the playthroughs different. I have my other playthrough that I'm going through off stream, and it's already exceptionally different than this one. But that'll be another sort of big source of content that I just will not have experienced before, because I'm also not really doing it on that other playthrough. I love how they just lost attitude towards me. Cra oh, Cracked Helm of Shar, interesting. I didn't even realize that was there. Can I not just give that over to Shadowheart? No? Come on, guys. Also, I'm still confused as to why her head occasionally explodes.
beady, malicious eyes stare at you. The rat probably wants to feast on your corpse along with its friends. Oh, what? Uh... This... This seems problematic. I can't hit one to continue. It's not responding to X, it's specifying one. Uh, you know, I might have a keyboard attached. I do, but it's not responding to that either. This is a bit of a problem. Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe not the worst thing in the world then. Apparently, a new update. I just installed this on the PlayStation, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before. So this is the first update I've had for it. Hot fix number five. PS5. Fixed an issue causing the game's audio to stop working. Fixed graphical issues on HDR TVs. Fixed a crash that would occur when opening the on-screen keyboard. Oh, that's also, I guess, an option I could have tried is the on-screen keyboard. Except I don't remember how to do that either. Oh, that's neat. It's keeping more than five of my saves. When I installed it onto the PS5 and activated the uh, cross-platform save stuff, these are the only five saves that it brought in my other playthrough, my off-stream. So I kind of thought it was limited to five saves, but I guess not. I'm used to having like 20 or 30 or more on PC. So how many of those rats do I have to kill, and does it matter where? And what exactly am I expecting to happen? There are no quick save slots on PS5. At least not that I've been able to find. You didn't fight the rats. Yeah, and Sara did, though. And apparently that's the way you can make something happen in that location. Because I found a book by that ritual thing, and it was by Raphael. Three to four rats, okay. Okay, so... It looks like we're done that trial. We should be basically done everything now. 
the only thing we're missing is all the faffing around trying to search for crap. now or be devoured wait what i don't how am i talking to them i don't have speak with animals engaged what the heck i've not done this myself yet but looked up how to do the things okay i don't usually bargain with rats if i let you live what's in it for me there are treasures Useless to us now, but once they had value, meaning, we hid them away, untouched for a lifetime. Keep your word, and we will reveal them to you. You're no ordinary rat, are you? None of you are. An ordinary rat alone, but together, something more. Oh. Some remember turning away from the sun. Some remember donning a black cloak. Some remember plunging a blade into an innocent heart. But we all remember a name. Lethindor. We share who he was. Okay, that... Hmm. This is bringing back Planescape memories, something fierce, but I don't think these are that kind of rat. Very similar in some respects, though. The super intelligent, communal, hive mind rats. But I don't think that's what this is. Yeah, the cranium rats. I, I think these have a more supernatural kind of origin than the cranium rats do. Or maybe a different supernatural origin. Are you telling me your one person turned into a swarm of rats? How can that be? It shouldn't be. We should be one long dead. Instead, we are many. Scurrying. Hiding. Surviving. We are just crumbs of a life. Harmless nothings. Unless you test us. Oh, they are illithid in, in origin. Then maybe, Arinlar. Maybe. Interesting. All right. Your lives for this treasure. You'd better be level with me. And you better be true to your word. I am small, but we are many. Now fetch your prize and leave. Asterion disapproves. That's awesome. I love this. Now, where is this prize? Oh. Are you leading us to it? What's going on? Marked on your map. That's crazy. Surely there's no way. So is that it there? How the heck do I even get there? This does require an awful lot of exploration, doesn't it? circle seems to be infernal in nature <clears throat> oh 
Oh, okay. Jumping puzzle time. Got it. Holy crap. You really do have to explore every which way, don't you? over here. Too far. Not enough space. Hmm. My interaction with these guys was a different location. I never played around with Char's feet. <laughs> Uh, four minute warning on a next break, but guys, by the way. For me, they got violent when I came down here after having that conversation. Interesting, Anstaro. How the heck do I get over there? Oh, wait a minute. Um... Slow fall's not gonna help. I know somebody must have Misty Step. Probably not me. Let's get everybody over here again, and then I'll just have one person. I think Gale might have it. If Gale doesn't have it, Gale can have it quite easily. Asterion could also potentially have it. Mm, I applaud your taste. He's got Featherfall. Haste. A bazillion scrolls, including Misty Step. I'd rather not use a scroll if I can avoid it. How, actually, how many do I have? Just the one. Okay, so he's got a Cloak of Protection. Mistress Grace gives him Featherfall. Oh, actually, he's not using that. What is he using? Oh, he is using that. Okay. Cinder Snap Gloves, Protection from Missiles. Mage's Friend. Sunwalker's Gift. Psychic Spark. Gale's austere clothes. Somehow Gale has managed to make his clothes smell like a library. <laughs> to inhale their aroma is to feel a sudden urge to speak more quietly or pay a fine. Tasteful boots. We need to give him better boots. Oh, 
never mind. Oh, those are those are his camp clothes. That's fine. Rain dancer. Okay, so let's see. The flavor text on Gale's clothes is funnier than it has any right to be. You're not wrong about that. You know, I did not. Energy crackles around these. Gale wouldn't. Surely he didn't enchant his. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay, guys. On that note. Let's take a quick break. I'll be back in three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up and grab anything, now's a good time to do it. <laughs> this is definitely going to get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Oh no, what's going on? Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. The but the wrath of Hochley Apochley was great. And as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever built this one before. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Get back down here. No. Damn it. <laughs> Link? Link, where did you disappear to? I missed my ride. <laughs> What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. That stuff serves a useful purpose. What the hell? seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. How am I only now realizing that I can have three active characters? What the hell? Get the hey! Hell. Hey! That's my tank! I'm 
I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Not a good shot. Um, Ooh! I'm hit. My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. Okay, I am back. Now I was looking for Misty Step that I can use more than just the one time because I got to get back as well. How about Asterion? How are you looking, sir? Thank you, Aranlar. Okay, so he's got Shadow of Menza Baranzan, Shrouded in Shadow. He's got a boring old standard cloak. Boots of Genial Striding. Padded armor plus one. Asterion's underwear. Embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you managed to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Cleric. Also, I just apparently reconnected to the chat room, so if I missed anybody, sorry. Poisoner's gloves. He's not wearing any rings? What the heck? Surgeon's subjugation amulet. His camp clothing. Okay, surely we can do better than this. What's going on here? Boots of genial striding, poisoner's gloves, surgeon's subjugation, assassin's sword, fire stoker, spell thief, sword of life stealing, sword of screams. Okay, that's basically... What the... We must have better items than this. I've got tons of rings over here. What the heck? Like, this one's not equipped. True Love's Caress. We need to find the match for that one. Channeler's Trunks. Underwear of this type was commonly worn by mages powerful enough to broadcast their likeness across many planes of existence. Wow. Okay, that stuff's all equipped. The Blast Pendant. The Spectator Eyes. I may have sold some stuff off when I didn't really want to. Oh, I never put that back in its place. Shadow Hearts Underwear. If Pants Could Brood. <laughs> wow. Okay, so apparently you really need to inspect your character's underwear in this game. Who knew? How do we go back to camp? Asterion embroidering, that is my favorite thing, yes. Oh, what the? Curious. Helmet of Smiting. Soulbreaker Greatsword. That's got to be Karlak. Circlet of Psionic Revenge. Grimskull Helm. I don't think anybody can really wear that at the moment. It's heavy armor. Here we go. Rings. Elemental Infusion. Mental Inhibition. Ring of Shadows. That, uh, can we, how do we examine this? I'll just pick it up for now. I'll grab all of the rings. I can distribute as needed.
What is that? Ice bite robe? I don't remember getting an ice bite robe. Unexpected advantage of playing on a different platform. I'm seeing everything as if it's for the first time because nothing really looks familiar. Except for some of the environments occasionally. And so... Stuff is standing out to me that I didn't really notice before. It's like looking at something you're familiar with from an entirely new perspective. Okay, uh, let's see. Character sheet, inventory. Oh, that was Hysterion picking everything up. Okay. So what was that Ring of Shadows all about? Oh, that gives Pass Without Trace. I mean, that's still probably pretty good for him, so let's equip that. Strange Conduit. See, most of these rings are no good for him. Or wait a minute. Never mind. He, I, I was thinking of him as a pure thief. He's actually an arcane trickster, so that might not be the worst thing ever. Let's give him elemental infusion. Uh, I'll just pop over, visit some of the stores, see if they've got any rings or anything that we could use. I don't know what the odds are that we'll find anything about Misty Stump, but you never know. Worst case, maybe I can find a couple of scrolls, and then I could get uh, Gale to use it. Actually, I guess I could just get him to prepare it and cast it a couple of times too, but then we have to rest sooner. I would rather use items if I can, because we've got that big battle coming up. At least one big battle, maybe more. Nope. Yeah, I know there is one, because I was fairly certain that I had equipped it. It's very possible that... I, th I thought it was this playthrough, but maybe it was my other playthrough. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Good to see you, Aaron. Of course. Okay, this looks familiar, but it's interesting that they've kind of redone it a bit, too. 8,000 gold? Holy crap, dude. He has... What the heck? Let's go to the... Tr oh. May you keep balance. Okay, this is weird to navigate. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Of course. Okay, that's better. Now everything's in order. So, Cone of Cold, Dominate Person, Chainmail plus two... Oh, actually, Potion of Flying would probably do it, too. I was kind of focusing on Misty Step, but uh, Flying, not a terrible option. Absolute's Talisman. I don't have the brand, so it's not really of any use to us. Plate Armor plus one? Damn, Aaron's getting the good crap in now. I mean... 
I have the same problem as I have with that helm. Nobody uses heavy armor yet, so... I don't know if it's worth bothering to get. It's a lot of money. Half plate plus one. Can you tell I sell a lot of crap here? Jesus. There's so much. Okay, unfortunately, well... What's that, 71? And then they've also got a... Oh, Jesus, 237? Okay, let's back out of here and find out if uh, Gale already knows the fly spell. You have my attention. Okay, so let's see. Um, prepare spells. Those are already prepared. What level is Fly? Is that level 3? Level 4. It is level 3. Okay, so he does have Grant Flight. Bestow the ability to fly upon yourself or an ally. And it lasts for 10 turns, so in theory... He should be able to use that. I guess I'll just bite the bullet and we'll do fly. No, okay, so... Let's pop back to the last light in as well, because if Aaron's inventory has changed, maybe the others have as well. The prevalence of cool, heavy armor led me to giving Lazelle the feat. Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing that for Carlac. She is kind of my tanky character. Might be good for Lazelle, too. Not on Carlac? Oh, does it conflict with Barbarian stuff? I've never played a Barbarian, so I'm not super... Oh, it will make her rage not work. Ooh, that would be bad. You're right. Okay. No heavy armor for her. We'll have to go with Lazel. How's the barricade coming along? Maybe Shadowheart, though. Clerics can use heavy armor, can't they? But it can take a beating. It'll need to. The clerics' magic won't hold out the darkness forever. I'm gonna be switching between Baldur's Gate and Starfield a lot, Seleno. How are you doing? It's good to see you. See if there's anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. 
The thing is, Seleno, I'm playing Baldur's Gate on PS5 this time instead of on PC. It's the first time I played it on this, and it's been really interesting seeing how it plays. Oh man, look at all that crap. Holy selection, Batman, what? Let's see if this is... Oh, Jesus, that wasn't even properly sorted. Holy crap! What is with this selection? It's not a proficiency issue, it's a barbarian one. It says specifically in Rage that you lose all the positive effects of it if you wear heavy armor. There's even I saw a mod even a mod I saw to remove that penalty. Yeah, that's the kind of mod I'm not really super keen on. Oh, we've got new dyes too. Lavender dye. Baby blue and gold. Bloody plum. Pink and leaf green. Some of these are not new. You gain a bull strength and increase your strength score by 2 to a maximum of 20. You cannot be pushed against your will and you have an advantage on saving throws against being restrained. Yon T scale mail? Exotic material. Add your dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth ability checks. Holy crap. I don't blame him, Greeny. This looks amazing. This would be really good for Asterion. Shade Clinger. While obscured, the wearer has advantage on saving throws. Stealth plus one. Bark skin. Scimitar plus two. I'm not sure anybody uses that. The only problem with taking the heavy armor feat is that I'm going to have to get Shadowheart up to level 12 before she can actually take it. Oh, that's true, Unstar. That's true. Oh, I guess I could respec them, but well, still... Ring of Flinging, Snowburst. Blood Guzzler. <laughs> Robe of Summer, I think I sold that one. The Skin Burster. Vision of the Absolute. Okay, what's that one? Brow beaten circlet. A shield amulet. That's not too bad. Actually, I should probably be looking for stuff I can sell as well. I'm not sure I have too much, though. I kind of like that I can just scroll down the inventory lists of all the characters by default in the trade interface. This is actually very handy.
Yeah, I kind of like the trade interface this way. I like it better than PC. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't really have all that much to sell right now. Unless I go through and really... You know, maybe sell off extra potions or something. Yeah, so do I, Greeny. This is not bad. It works a little better, too. Thank you. Now we still have the other guy over here, Mr. Damon. Can't sleep, so I might as well hammer. Need anything? Don't know yet. Let's see. He looks like he's got new stuff too. Swordmaster Gloves. Interesting that she's got more of the heavy armors than he does. Charge-bound Warhammer? This hammer's magical powers only function if it's bound to... Oh, Eldritch Knight or Warlock's Pact Weapon. Okay. So that would be for Will, then. Thermodynamo Axe. That might be good for Karlak. She's probably better able to deal with the heat than Gale is. Sword of Clutching Umbra. Orange dye, pale green. See, I still, for the life of me, cannot find just a plain, simple black dye. What the heck, game? Oh, here's the heavier armor. Plate armor plus one. Splint. Half plate. Chain. Studded leather. Okay. So, all that stuff. Githyanki greatsword. Yeah, so I'm not sure there's much we need to buy. I think I'll be here if you need anything else. Thank you, sir. I think we'll go back. Oh wow, cleric. Automod had an issue with that one. Okay, where were we? Literally, where the heck were... Oh, we were trying to get up there, right? So we got to go back down here.
You know, I never thought I would say this, but I think on the whole, I might prefer this version to the PC version. I really like the way it looks. Wait, how did we get over there? We wanted to go... It wasn't down here. It was this way. Okay, I think I'm going to send Asterion, though, so let's get Mr. Gale. Nope. Yes. Uh, uh, I see we have unintentionally split the party again. Come on, guys. Get it together. here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. He'll... what? This is the... This is the treasure that we get, really? I mean, it, it is better than nothing, but wow. All that for that? <laughs> oh, this is interesting, though. What is this? Chamber of Command. Is this trial number four by any chance? That's not the total end to things with the rats I ended up in a fight in that skull pit, but no idea. Okay. This doesn't look like a trial area, though. Into my pocket. Reflections upon the mirror of loss. The original purpose of the sacred mirror has been lost to the ages. Some suppose that it was the result of Telamont Tenthal's attempts to delve into the Shadowfell itself in the time before the folly of his master Carsus. Others claim it only became an object of devotion after the fall of Netheril when the lost stricken survivors of the floating cities found comfort in Lady Shar's embrace. What is certain is that many of the Night Singer's faithful claim to ha feel some echo of her power and majesty when in the presence of the mirror, even though it is shattered. They are often said to feel lesser once they step away from the mirror, hence the name it is become commonly known by. Our scholars continue to study it, but alas, its true nature may continue to elude us. Perhaps if the Dark Lady indulges us, she shall reveal another of these holy relics for us, so that we may feel the full power of her embrace. There we 
was magic in this glass once. Dark, hungry magic. The mirror is shattered and beyond any use. So they suffered a loss of the mirror. That's curious. What's curious? I hate it when it does that. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's more of a shadow heart thing. Which means I've got to figure out how to get all of the others over here. I sent Asterion over here because he's the one with the perception. Something over there. Easy peasy. Okay, so we've got another little pile of gold, we've got one of these arrows, and we've got an arrow of salving. Okay, so definitely no trial over here. But an interesting little area. I do wish Shadowheart was here for it. Oh, I might have another problem now. I've probably been here too long and I think the fly ability has probably gone. Yeah, it has. That's fun. Uh, oops. I don't suppose his jump ability is long enough to get him out of here, is it? Let's give it a shot. Oh, he... Mm, no, okay. No, he's he lives here now. He's stuck. Yeah, there is. I guess we could cheat and do that, but it's fun to think that he's just stuck over here for the rest of his life now. But you're right. Okay, so a long time ago, Anstara, I believe you were going to give me a hint as to how I might find trial number four. I think at this point I have to seriously say, yeah, I think I need it. Otherwise, I'm sure I will find it eventually, but who knows how long it's going to take. It could be three more streams before I actually locate it. Oh, <laughs> you gave it twice, but I missed it both times. That's very on brand for me. Go do the thing for Raphael Asterian. I don't want... Oh, God. Do I have to do that now? I don't want to do that now. Ugh. Fine. Greeny style hinting? Yeah. Uh, if you insist. God damn it. How do I get over there? I 
Yeah, I can get there this way, I guess, but hang on. It was more back the other way, wasn't it? There's no easy way to hint at that one, fair. This doesn't feel right. You went the Unstar route and chose blood. Oh, yeah, th there is cleric, but I actually don't have that option. Or I do have that option, but it comes with consequences I'm not willing to accept. If I do not fight and kill the demon... I break my oath as a paladin of devotion, and I am not looking to play an oathbringer. Or an oathbreaker, rather. Now, I do understand that there's a way to redeem myself from it and retain my paladin status, or uh, maybe more to the point to regain my paladin status, but I would rather just do what I'm supposed to do and fight the battle and get the XP and all that anyway. There's a way to win that encounter without breaking your oath or fighting. It requires that insight check and like three persuade checks, I think. Oh, I have no idea, Cleric. I'm just going based on what I've experienced so far, which was failing the insight check and not even doing the persuade checks. Okay, that's empty. Excuse me, fella. This is not where we need to be. I'm trying to remember where we followed the Displacer Beast to. I thought it was down here, but maybe I'm wrong? I don't see where else it could be. Oh, maybe... No, it wasn't there. Oh, but we actually do have another orb that we need to place. I'll worry about it when I get back to the encounter. Um, where are we? Hmm. Okay. I guess the other option that I've got... Let's take a look at our characters here. Okay, so I actually am the one to go to for insight. I've got the big plus five bonus. Maybe not as good on persuasion, though. <laughs> For a paladin, I'm actually kind of bad at persuasion. Interesting.
finally saw the new D&D &D movie last night. It's so good. Yeah, the paladin was amazing. I love the characterization they did for that and how uh, the bard guy, I never remember his name, but Chris Pine called him out on the characterization. It was fantastic. I need to, I keep saying this, but I do need to watch that movie again. Now, I know that... Oh, wait a minute. No. The Displacer Beast was there, but when we follow it, we had to go and do a thing. We didn't follow him there. We had to... We had to go somewhere else. Hey, wait, I can actually access this? What the heck? Not a Starion. No, never mind. Oh, wait a minute. The Displacer Beast's route, was it... marked with blood? Because that would take it back here, and that's just back to where we came in. Which is less than useful. This place is such a freaking maze. I'm sure Char won't mind if I light up her entire temple, right? It's very in keeping with her wishes. See, this goes down there, and that's not where we want to be. I'm very confused. I guess I could go the other way. East of the waypoint. But it that's where it starts. I'm not wondering where it starts. I'm wondering where we had to follow it off to. Because I remember when I first tried the encounter, it was right here where we go down here and then you have to jump to get down there. And the Displacer Beast was sitting right there on the circle. But then when you follow the Displacer Beast... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think you're right. I think you are correct. You might be correct. I think we followed it and just wandered down that way. Instead of immediately attacking and doing all the things. Saving the game. We're going to be here for the rest of the stream. Turn around. Ah, I've got it saved. What the heck? Oh. Oh, it's still waiting for us. What the heck? <laughs> Just out of you. So much 
much blood. What the hell has been happening here? Uh, lost. Oh, right, because she can see invisible. That's cool. Oh. Kill Raphael's old enemy. We discovered signs of destruction throughout the temple. We can likely follow the trail of carnage to Raphael's old acquaintance. Raphael told us of a nemesis of his who lurks in the depths beneath the mausoleum. Evidently, we should try to deal with this old enemy. Okay. Um, now, I am curious. We've got Shadowheart here. I'm wondering if she has spells, or maybe Gale has spells, that could give us extra bonuses. Like, do we maybe have friends or something? Some sort of persuasion boost? Or a scrolls or potions, perhaps? That would probably do the trick. Probably not what we want to do, but it might work. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, that's never mind, that's help. Still madness, probably not our best option. Worst comes to worst, maybe we could polymorph it into a frog and squash it. Animal friendship. Oh, detect thoughts. I've got lots of scrolls of that, maybe that would help. Polymorph doesn't work that way in 5th edition. Ah. Was it I had where's detect thoughts that's feather fall oh oh um that that's wait does that only work on himself that's not what I wanted I wanted to transfer a scroll so she can use it. Let's not get caught off guard. We'd need true polymorph for that. Oh, and five minute warning. I'm gonna take a slightly longer break when uh, the ads come up and I take this break. I'm gonna make myself some tea. There we go. Oh, and uh, Gale can have that one. Now, oop. Let's save. entertainment but you're too fresh for this place aren't you there's a whiff of the surface to you a new arrival then 
You burrow too deep, little rabbit. Your words thrum with violence. Peace, let us speak. I don't talk to prey. I... There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all over you. Where is he? Wait, you know Raphael? That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me. Interesting, Greeny. He wants you dead. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! What are you doing? The devil told us to kill this thing. So let's stop chatting and kill it. Let's share our experiences about Raphael. Perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here, not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. You're hardly free as it is, Tramp here. Maybe you're better off indebted to Raphael. Just listen to the terms he gave me. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here, alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be saved. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justices went. The final <laughs> lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick buried within them, a clause that cannot easily be fulfilled. Oh, his followers. His followers heard. Slaughter the Justicius. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. Raphael wanted you to kill Dar Dark Justiciers. Why? Oh, okay, ads are starting soon, guys. We will continue this in a moment, but I need to go make tea, and if you need to get up, this is a good time for you to do it too. So I'll meet you back here in maybe six to eight minutes or so, and then we will see if we can follow through with the rest of this. Because, yeah, I did pass the insight check this time. I didn't last time. This is already going better. It might be a good time for me to try saving as well, just so that I don't have to keep going over it again. But uh, we'll do that when I get back, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. Ads are going to run. I'm going to run some clips over them so you won't miss anything. Okay, so yeah, something did screw up. There was a liquid rocket phase that was not actually supposed to get ejected there. <laughs> Other than that, it seems to be a bit of a death trap for poor Jeb because I just realized I replaced the parachute with this control unit so he wouldn't have to be here <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
didn't even know that you could do this. You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. Uh, I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. Okay, we're going EVA, guys. I found them. Done? Oh. What the hell? Dumped it right and literally next to me. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> of that, that I always forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid. Nubby? For the money. What the heck? Nubby, thank you. I have no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me. It can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. That's camera mode. <laughs> That's not at all what I wanted. Although... <laughs> well... That... Was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. 
Unless I get another coughing fit. Which seems pretty likely. <laughs> See? 10 4. Okay, I was not expecting such a direct attack. The hunter became the hunted. He sure did. sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> oh, 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 perfect. Look at that. I got all of them. That is awesome. Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. What is going on? What? Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. Raphael wanted you to kill Dark Justiciers. Why? Asking why doesn't get me paid. Thank Hunting you, Ansara. Killing does. 
Raphael mentioned something about an Asima. Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these holes with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing me. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. That would include your own followers, Time buddy. To die. The lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience. Your followers. Get rid of them. Okay, so it looks like reading his thoughts is either not possible or just simply not helping. And interesting that I can't seem to get guidance on this. Oh, does, I wonder if Shadowheart even has guidance. <laughs> Once claimed she dreamt of a future where I spared her. But even a weasling is no match for yours. This ends now. No, I never respect her. I'm not sure how the load times on saved games compare to the PC. It seems like it might be a little bit faster. It's hard to tell, though. Just a range issue. She should be right next to me, so I don't think it's range. Maybe it is reload. I did just leave the game paused or, you know, stuck for a, several minutes. Time to die. Uh, oh, there we go. No, I'm just not getting it. I could reload a save a little before this and do the whole conversation over. Then I could manually cast guidance on her before the battle. Nope. Let's actually try that. I'm going to load this one. I don't know. This is my first time playing on console, so I'm not sure what the differences really are. I'll just try it this way. If I manually cast it, it'll be fine. True, but insight is my character's strength. It's almost kind of a fluke that she failed it last time, unless the DC is really high. I'll just make sure that I save the game at regular intervals. What's next, I wonder? Okay. So, charm person, no. No, it's, um, Spellbook. So, she does have Guidance. We knew that. Attack rolls and saving throws, that's not going to help. Maybe she just doesn't have it? Spirit Guardians.
old person. Oh, enhance ability. Hand with the two fingers, cantrips. No, I'm not looking for guidance. I know she's already got that. that one and I'm going to take enhance ability. I was looking for something like maybe it's a gale thing. Um I thought there was like uh not quite a charm but a friendship spell that would give advantage on conversational things. But I think enhance ability will help. Um, let's see. Persuasion would be charisma, right? So I'll have to enhance her charisma. Also, maybe we really should do a long rest. I just noticed that she is out of level 3 and 4 spell slots. Well, we'll try it with level 2. Friends and Enhance Ability will do the same thing, then we're good. Once the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed and might accuse the spellcaster. So in this case, this one might actually be better because uh, it's not going to know it was charmed. That seems like an audio effect was missing there. Okay. Can't give up now. If you're not on Tactician, nobody's going to call you out on being charmed. Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. I don't talk to prey. I... There's something else, almost hidden by your feet. Fear stink. Cherries. You use it a lot? I think this might be the Must. first time I've used it. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all over you. Where is he? That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me. He wants you dead. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! What are you doing? The devil told us to kill this thing, so let's stop chatting and kill it. Let's share our experiences about Raphael. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young. 
then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. You wouldn't say that if you truly knew his mind. Just listen to the terms he gave me. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder shall's halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. The final lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick oh, them too, one star. Uh, that cannot easily be fulfilled. The rats are also witness. That's it. So he's the one who slaughtered the Justicians. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. Also, he himself heard it, so he also has to die. Asking why doesn't get me paid. Hunting and killing does. Raphael mentioned something about an Asima. Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these halls with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing me. Anyway, enough prattle. The nice cleric. Clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Okay, here's where we... Oh, wait a minute. Did I fail the insight check? No, I can't have because we've got the option. Hang on. So I'm going to resave. The lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience. Uh, hang on. Persuasion. Right, okay, use the highest roll from 2d20. And now we can do guidance too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? That was not 2d20. Turning one just this year into a swarm of rats. Oh, Guidance will get rid of Enhance. They're both concentration from the... S oh, God damn it! you're right. Okay. This is why we save. You've done that so much. Yep. That's why you... Oh, that's... Yeah, because uh, Brock is a druid. I don't have that option, though. I don't think. Paladins can't... Can paladins do guidance? I don't think they can, can they? Maybe I need to look at that. There's also um, an amulet that can give you the ability to cast guidance. Time to die. Okay, we're not going to add the bonus this time. Really? We are not failing this. 
Enhance ability is a level 2 spell, guidance is a cantrip. Yeah. But it doesn't matter if they're both concentration. Okay. To die. So you keep saying. <sighs> okay. We may have to implement dice jail here. I've decided, by the way that dice jail in Baldur's Gate 3 involves changing the dice skin if your dice fail you. Which means I have to learn how to change my dice skin. <sighs> okay, let's see how we do this time. Time to die. Uh, customized dice. I realized that I had karmic dice turned on by accident because I originally turned it off, and so I turned it off. My dice rolls are all over the place now. Fun. I don't think I've ever turned karmic dice off, actually. I think I've always had it on. What do you mean prismatic spray? Oh. 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 Oh, that is neat. Let's... Go with that one. Well, I mean, at least that one's better. It's it is trying. We're getting there. It's better than a four and a frickin' five. Definitely better than the time I rolled two twos. At least it wasn't two ones. To die. Oh, it preserved the uh, selection there. <laughs> hey, pretty darn close. What's up, Greeny? I did. I haven't actually got the box yet, though. There was a delay in shipping. Don't worry, I will show it off when I get it. To die. Uh, 
Okay, now it's starting to regress again. If it regresses once more, I think I am honor bound to implement dice jail again. So we'll have to choose a new dice skin. I just looked up the dice skins and it apparently gives a new dice skin with the collector's edition. Yeah, I did notice illithid purple actually. If we have to do dice jail once more, then I'm gonna do, probably choose illithid purple. It would be nice if it synced all of your skins available across platforms so that you have them on all the editions of the game that you own. Because I think I've got one on PC that I'm not seeing in the options here on PS5. I want to say it's the fiery red one that I never use because it doesn't look very readable. Time to die. Nope. Okay. We didn't even beat a 13 this time, so we have to do it. Let's try the illithid purple. How hard is it to roll a 16 or hard harder when you've got advantage? This is ridiculous. I could also try turning uh, the, what's it called, uh, the karmic dice off as well. Scuffed metal from base game, dragon flame red from digital deluxe, Bahir blue for free, illithid purple from collectors, and whatever prismatic spray comes from. Maybe from PS5, maybe, maybe. PS5 is the only place I've ever seen it, but then, you know, I haven't really gone looking for info on the dice skins either. Time. To die. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Come on. Yes. Finally. The Americans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. Kill yourselves. Back to the house with you. I still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. You're not finished yet. The displacer can hear you, can't she? Kill her. Oh God, I can't do this. I have to do it with guidance. Eagle Splendor is not gonna cut it. I can only get a 20. Oh crap, we're gonna be here for freaking ever. <laughs> yeah, but that would be rolling a 20. Oh, that's true, well, okay. So is it better to have the guidance bonus then, or no, because it's still got to be a, oh, Jesus. Which has better odds? What's the bonus on guidance? I would have to roll a 19 or 20 with guidance. I think my odds might actually be better. At this point, if you get fed up, you can just fight him. He's down all of his guards. He just has the Displacer Beast. That's true. That's very true. Oh, it's potentially 1d4. So I could get a 7... Well... 17, 18, 19... No, 18, 19, 20, 21. But that's only if I also get the 4 on Guidance. But I love the idea so much of talking him, talking my way out of this entirely. I wonder if anybody has a better... 
charisma bonus than my paladin. <laughs> Probably not. I think Shadow Heart's charisma is terrible. Asterion has basically none. Gale might. I think the third check is even higher, DC. I will give it a try, but we probably will end up fighting it. Maybe eventually I'll do a bard run where we actually try to talk our way out of almost everything. Shadowheart and Asterion have poopy charisma, yeah. Will or something. Which is hilarious to me considering what Asterion says about what he's done his whole life. Yeah, true. Alright, let's do it. We'll just fight it. I'll do a different run where we try to talk our way out of this one. We talked our way out of the major devastating battle. <laughs> Pathetic! A dusk hag once claimed she dreamt of a future where I spared her. But even a weasling is no match for yours. This ends now. I'm sure someone probably does on Star, but it's probably Will. <laughs> All right. Uh, context menu. Oh, I don't want to do ranged attack. Stagger's good. Nice! Oop, whoop. Whoops. Missed! Rude. Oh, that's true, the golem bell. Okay, I don't suppose... Who does have the bell? Let's see. I think it's probably purity. Purity seems to collect. Oh, yeah, purity's got it. Okay. Oh, can she? Oh, shoot. No. Um. My turn again already? What the heck? You just have to convince him to give you extra aid when you talk to him and he lends you the bell. Yes. Death won't take me yet. Where is the bell? K. 
Characters with a lot of inventory have an awful lot of options. I don't see it. That is... what? No! I don't want to dash. Actions. I probably need a full action. Alright, fine. Oh, crap. No wonder this battle is going so weirdly quickly. Gale and Asterion are still hidden. How do... Oh, Jesus. How do I... Uh... How do I get the others involved here? You would think so. This is all new. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is fine. This is all new to me. I've never played on this platform before. Uh, okay, so let me see. You are going to want to probably magic missile this thing. Wait, no. Um, not offhand attack. We want main hand attack. Finally. Pro oh, I wanted main hand sneak attack, but there we go. That works. Where'd the other guy go? We haven't seen him in some time. Uh. Oh, right. Okay, thank you. Got to focus. Another step forward. I'm ready. Yes. Let's see. We don't need to maintain Eagle Splendor anymore. Oh. 
Actually, never mind. Uh, we're too scattered. I'll have to wait till we're clustered together a bit more. What do we have here? Fire bolt. No fire ball, because I think we're way too low on all of our spell slots. Oh, actually, start of the turn. Never mind. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Haven't done anything yet. Let's see if I can find that frickin' bell. The problem is it looks so much like one of the... thingies. The, um... Oceans. Oh. You still haven't cast Fireball yet. Wow, Grainy. What the heck? Well, Very nice, Greeny. Can she heal at all? She's a paladin. She must have some healing. Or have we already used that too? We did just do the library battle. That's not too bad. I didn't see the option. Doesn't mean it's not there.
can't reach. Okay, fine. A tale for the ages. Step by step. Don't just... Ugh. He's worthless. Why did I bother trying to find the freaking bell? We're gonna have to do this whole thing over again, aren't we? I think I need area effect spells that I can just... Vine growth, spike growth is an area effect that limits movement but costs concentration. Plant growth does not. So difficult terrain that persists and you can just cast something else. Brock doesn't get affected by difficult terrain, and the Dryad grants free movement for allies all around it. Very nice. What's this? Becomes invisible. Okay. No, probably a bad idea. Immune to fire damage. Great. Yeah, I know. I know. This is frustrating as heck.
Guess I could do acid splash. Saved. Two minute warning, by the way. Another break coming up in two minutes. Got it. Battle of wits. Finally, he does something. Sort of. I should probably better use a potion if she can't. Oh, she can't. Great. Okay. Let's turn someone inside out. How did you? Did he get thrown that far? My god. What the heck? Path is interrupted. Uh, and can he by any chance... He can't Misty Step, can he? We already went through that. could dash might not be the worst idea on my way hey boy how's it going we gotta stop him going invisible this is ridiculous Shouldn't need a target. It's annoying. Now, Bane, that is. Yes, it's a concentration spell. Oh, ads are in progress. I'll be right back, guys. So, uh, I'll be back in th three and a half to five. But this one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away.
Nice. One less machine. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. Uh, rugged BD assembly scrapyard solar. Yes. Oh, it gave me the complete upgrade package? You're kidding me. Love it. That's so cool. Oh. Shh. What the hell, game? Timing. I played this war of mine back in 2014. It's one of the earliest games I ever played on stream. I call it Depression the Game. I don't play it anymore. Okay, I am back. Let's see if it's possible to salvage this at all. Thank you. Uh, Shadow Heart. I don't think we've actually managed to do any damage to this guy, have we? This is going to be a bit of a pain. Ugh. How am I dead again? Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Cleric. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna revive me again. Because that's my role in this game. I just die constantly. Okay, better. Gale survives that. Gale. Really. Ugh.
There we go. We finally did at least a little bit of damage. Your fight with him went a lot different? Well, my next fight with him, because I'm sure I'm going to die here, is likely to go quite different, too. I speak, they burn. Only 30%. And it's going to disrupt his concentration, but that's okay. Um, it was worth a shot. That was it. That did not heal much. I'm asking for punishment here. But I gotta do it. Where? Are all, oh, I guess most of my other attacks are unavailable now. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Damn it. Is there a way to prevent creatures from going invisible? No, wait. Uh, Alchemist Fire, that's not going to do it. She really doesn't have anything worth firing, does she? Or throwing. Yeah, I was hoping that she could throw a good potion or something, but she doesn't seem to really have much of anything. Maybe I need to start distributing my potions better. Well, that's not going to do it. She shouldn't need a... Ugh.
I could do a grease bottle, but she doesn't have one. She just has a regular bottle. Oh, I actually lived this time. Who's the one that died? Oh, Gail died. Now, can I throw? No, I can't. I could shove, but I'm not close enough and couldn't see it anyway. Oh, nope. I keep accidentally ending turn. She really has nothing. She's completely out of spell slots. Death is but a word away. He's down to first level spell slots. I probably should have done the long rest I was thinking about. He does have tons of scrolls, but... Uh, he just recovered, so he can't use them. <laughs> Very possibly greeny, but throwing an arrow doesn't seem like a valid choice. Maybe I'm mistaken about that, I don't know. She's got lots of throwing options. Well, that was useless. Go for the throat. Okay, let's not end turn this time. He keeps saving. Oh, good. <laughs> it's immune. Wonderful. At least he's also immune to cloud kill.
Interesting. Okay, so let's spill some blood. A better position. That helped a lot. Okay, next scroll. Cloud of daggers? I doubt it's immune to that. Minus three penalty to spell attack roll. Save spell DC. Spell save DC. Disadvantage on saving throws for concentration, which shouldn't really be a concern. Let's make sure. Oh, I can't throw anyway. The dance macabre. Flaming Sphere. Oh, no, Flaming. Probably not our best move. Lightning Bolt? Eight to 48 damage. Damn it! I don't suppose he's strong enough to shove. Too heavy. Get him! Do it! Oh my god. Holy crap. Something's on my mind. A long way to go still. Here, let me help. We did it. First try. Legit first try, <laughs> at least on the combat part. Maybe not so much on the, uh... Oh, how do I get out of turn-based mode? Crap. Uh, and turn? A long way from Waterdeep. Uh... 
Oh. That's why it put us in turn-based mode. Got it. I am very lucky we were all in the clear there. Holy crap. Hellfire hand crossbow. You guys have been talking up the hand crossbows so much. I'm excited to find such an awesome one. Uh, how do we examine this? I guess we just pick it all up first. And that's some new infernal metal for Karlak. That's exciting. Apparently you can throw those mines, which can be quite fall fun in a brawl with all of them. It's only great if you have two so that you can dual wield. Hey, but you only get two by getting a first one at some point, right? It's a step in the right direction. Okay. We should have done this before this encounter. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hells, to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my house of he returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Are you sure you want to know, Asterion? Maybe it's best left in the past. Even if I wanted to walk away from all of this, I can't. Cazador won't let me. And why would he want to walk away? This is his destiny. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been been performed the rite of profane ascension oh crap it promises to be a marvelous ceremony very elaborate incredibly ancient and entirely diabolical if he completes the rite he will become a new kind of being the vampire ascendant all the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified. And alongside them, he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him. And unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Gazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a starion. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Kazador 
his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. Wow. I just love so much how even a slight difference in party composition makes a difference in an encounter. I know, the replayability in this game is just off the charts. It's phenomenal. We have to go with number one. Cazador's a piece of shit. We're gonna stop him. Do you think it's so simple? You'll never be free while Cazador lives. There's a way to become a living vampire. That must mean a lot to you. Wow. We can't let Cazador complete that ritual. Uh, the end of my life amongst them. Just when I was starting to enjoy it. He'll never leave me alone. I didn't think he would when I was just one more wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Of course I'll help. We'll hunt him down and kill him. Thank you. Oof. That, 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 that was a big load of something. Holy crap. We need to go and talk to everybody at this point. I can't imagine how Astarian must be feeling. The terms of your own condemnation carved into your skin. Monsters' actions. And monsters do not deserve such power as that ritual promised. Can't you relate? Time comes, Astarian Can't you really? will have his revenge, I'm sure. And it will be richly deserved. But not yet. So, what can I do for you? Do you not have a bit of a chest tattoo there representing your own fate, Gale? Your own destiny of doom? I mean, it's kind of also redemption, but even so. It seems like Cazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas, but as a contract. We haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. It's slightly different since Gale did that to himself rather than... Yeah, that that is true, Unstara. That's a good point. Wait, who's this little kid? Oh, that's Thaniel. I forgot he was still with us. Oakfather, preserve you. You've spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course. I only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Alright, this is a very cool camp layout. Will, what's up? Our very own vampire is the missing pawn in his master's deadly game. Now, how about we go and reverse Cazador's fortunes? Sounds like a plan to me. There's Withers and the, um... Wait, who... Oh, Arabella. I don't believe it. They can't be! Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. No! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead! I can't! Balance. 
your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours too. What? The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. <laughs> okay, this is so unexpected and really cool. Where will she go then? Why not? I'm not sending her out there alone. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. If only we knew a druid Arabella who wasn't in the party. Once thou dost leave these accursed lands, she will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. The weave knows thy purpose. It will guide thee, if thou dost listen. You can trust Withers. If he says you'll be safe, you should believe him. I... <laughs> you feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. I can't believe you can just miss this by having her die. <sighs> Withers encouraged Arabella to learn the ways of the Weave. She left to find her own way in the world. Shadow Blade Ring. One of the relics of Deep Duera's rebellious children. Long ago in a foreboding realm called Hammergrim, Deep Duera, daughter of the dower god Laduger, signed a great many heirs to her twisted conundrum throne. Hey Jessica, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, that is so cool. What the heck? Yeah, the new ability too, which I don't even know anything about yet. That's going to be fun to learn. Full-fledged vampires are not so easily slain. Astarian's master will be no exception. Fortunate for him, slaying monstrous fanatics is a pastime of ours. You said it, Lazel. Oh yes, I, I know what you mean. I, I, or at least you know, it said something about Arabella's power now being mine. I, I gather that means something else, and that's what I'm excited to learn about. I don't mean Shadow Blade, whatever. Although that also sounds kind of cool. Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death, and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Cazador won't touch him. Okay, and now finally, the man himself. Need something? Really? Okay. Wow. The one person I thought would have the most to say about that. 
Shadow Blade is apparently really cool when a rogue uses it. Can sneak attack with it. Oh, interesting. Maybe that ring belongs on Asterion then. I was looking for things to give him. Uh, auto select. No. Okay, so, wow. Let's maybe not make use of that one. Uh, potato wedges. We'll, we'll do a Canadian long rest. We're going to rest with Patin. It seems to be selecting entire stacks on Stara. Okay. Well, that was a heck of a day. Uh, oh. Okay, oh right, we're still not actually done the Gauntlet of Shar yet. We still have all these other things we can loot though, right? Merrigan Halberd. That's a lot of halberds. That's scrolls. Oh, is there an orb around here, too? I guess we're going to have to find that. Umbral. Umbral orb. Um... Is it something that should be obvious and I'm not spotting? Yeah, but it... Oh, it's not up here. It's fairly out in the open, but you might have to explore this area. Okay. I enjoy exploring. I spent the last two days basically doing... I can't say no work because I got this ready to play today, but almost no work on stream stuff whatsoever. I was just so engrossed in exploring everything in uh, in Starfield. It truly is the new Fallout 4, which means it might be a while before we actually play Fallout 4 again. Ah, this is all new to me. Spider meat? Chewed spider carcass oozes on the ground. Oh, fox is cunning? Interesting. wound and a faint pulse of something not entirely natural you don't like exploring greeny what
Really? There appears to be nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Just your average giant spider corpse. Sulfur, decay, and a thin whiff of something unexpectedly fragrant. Six hours to explore four buildings. Yeah, but I mean, it's Baldur's Gate. And it's supposed to be, what, like a 200-hour game? You're at 125? You got a good 75 more hours. That's almost as long as I've played in total so far. You're going to be at it a while. I'm glad you were only being sarcastic, though. My sarcasm meter is hampered by, one, it being text, and two, I'm streaming. <laughs> Yum. Adventurer's the life. Taste of rot and sour milk. Your stomach lurches, but your loins tingle. Is that arousal? Ew. Rotten meat. That's what gets you going. <laughs> well, to each their own. <laughs> an unmistakable sweetness. Succubus spittle. The meat is charmed. Carcass continues to leak. <laughs> no, we're not licking it again. <laughs> I won't hear judgment from you, Asterian. I know, right? Oh, this is a job for Asterian, speaking of. I mean, I probably could, but he's the specialist. Come on. That would. Oh, what? It wasn't locked? Restore bardic inspiration. Tiny bells are sewn into the boots' cuffs, they jingle subtly with every step. I guess I just assumed it was going to be locked and trapped. What to do? This is the chest that caused me to fight everyone. What? How did that how, what? How does that work? Bard boots, yes. Oh, oh, I snuck in, opened the chest, and got caught. <laughs> That's actually funny. Rusty weaponry. greatly before dying and being put on show. Okay. Oh, back up that way a little bit, huh? What's over here? Or, wait a minute, is it up here or is it down here? 
That looks like it might be down there. Wait a minute. No. Hang on. Oh, damn it. This is the area we were at before. Annoying. That's the direction you used to go up there? I didn't even think to go up further. I'm not sure how we would. I guess we can probably jump up. But, oh, uh, let's see. I'm just going to go back here. I don't think I've gotten the gem yet. Still looking for it. I'm going to have to poke around some more. been up there yet. Uh, Shadow Heart. Oh, crap. Shadow Heart and Asterion are being jerks again. What am I to do? Jump. Of course, now they're coming back. Is that blood? No. Probably. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Elixir of Viciousness, Poison Resistance. Did I go back down here and investigate stuff? I'm not certain. I think we went that way. A bed made of corpses. Disgusting and uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Gross. Oh. That's the last one. The inner sanctum is within reach now. That was so obvious. Come on, guys. All of you. There you go. 
Good job. So have I, Greeny. We've been in here for quite a while now. This is my second full stream just in the uh, Gauntlet of Shar. I'm pretty close to full anyway. I assume we're just about done. Okay. I'm going to let Shadowheart do the honors. Journal updates. The path to the inner sanctum is open. The relic lies just ahead. This seems like a good point to save at. Another waypoint. This must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. Deliver the night mother's mercy upon her enemies. Make a sacrifice. Shroud yourself in blackest night. Trust your secrets to the night. I will not fail you, my lady. Sh what? Shadowfell? Um... That is where Char lives. What could go wrong? I know, right? Four minute warning, guys. What's likely to be our last break of the evening in four minutes. Or the afternoon, rather. Sorry, old habits. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Oh boy. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. Some prayers are answered more quickly than others. Let's continue. The Chosen of Shah. After praying to Shar, Shadowheart told us that she needs to proceed to where a final test awaits her. If she succeeds, she shall be anointed as a Dark Justicier. Raphael told us about the Rite of Profane Ascension. Casador plans to perform it, sacrificing his vampire spawn in exchange for great power. Asterion is the only missing piece of the ritual and Casador needs him back. Asterion told us he wants to take the fight to Casador in Baldur's Gate. Oof. What could go wrong? I know. Also, it's good to see you, Baldahar. Welcome back. Worth a try. Um. Your party is gathered. <laughs> you are ready. Or so you hope. 
Are you sure you want to proceed? Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change and some active quests may become unavailable. Without getting too specific, am I in a decent place to do this or should I come back? This is the point of no return? Is there anything I need to t do right now before... Let me see your journal. What do you need to see specifically? Do any other quests in this area? Okay. I haven't actually done a whole lot inside Moonrise Towers yet. I haven't ascended up the tower or anything yet. Oh, I did the Shadow Cursed Lands quest. We've got What's-His-Face. He's in camp with uh, Halson. Find Roland. Oh, that's true. We didn't find Roland. Roland disappeared in the darkness. He'd left a message for his siblings to wait for him at last light. He's out in the Shadow Curse alone. We should look for him. Okay, maybe we need to come back then. You did rescue the prisoners, which is the big thing. Well, yeah, one of them didn't get really get rescued. All right, guys, you can debate amongst yourselves. I need to take this break. I'll be back in a few minutes, so if you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or drinks or snacks... This is a very good time, and I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health too, so this is kind of toothless. Hey! mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not ready to my <sighs> Not impressed. Don't do that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, these look like good books. Adra and Daedra. Chances Folly. There's potions on the shelf here, that's excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. Okay, I'm backing off. I'm backing off. No problem. Back! 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 <laughs> Retreating, going away, carry on.
gotcha. Get you too. Oh, sorry. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. Oh, boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck build platypus. Um. Execute order 66. Oh, good God. Okay, I am back. And Bob, I'm not sure what you're referring to either. What do you mean it's lagging on Skyrim clips? There's no way that I can imagine that it could possibly lag on clips from a specific game without also lagging on other clips. That just doesn't make sense. Thank you, Greeny. Uh, okay, so we haven't found Zavlor. What's punished the wicked? He who was wants to bring justice to the victims of a murderer. Oh, right. I kind of... Uh, I, I kind of... I would like to do most of these. I want to find Maul. I want to punish the wicked. I would like to find Zavlor because... It sounds like something happened with Zevlor, and I don't have the full story yet, so please don't explain. But it sounds like maybe he betrayed the other tieflings or something, which seems out of character for him based on the little that we know about him at this point in my playthrough. And I would definitely like to see if we can find Roland. Thank you, Instara. Uh, I don't think it can possibly be your end, Bob. Is it possible, like, did you notice the dates on the clips? I mean, some of my Skyrim streams from a long time ago, they would tend to, uh, l like, stutter a little bit because I was, you know, I've been streaming a long, long time now. I've been through a few computer upgrades. My stream was not always silky smooth. Apparently, Punish can be completed afterwards, but Roland is really the only one that matters with what it looks like. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, would you guys like to give me a little bit of a hint on where I might locate Roland? We can always come back here very conveniently at this point. Let's go to last light again. Because if the clips were clips of streams that were lagging a little bit, then that would make That's sense. Right. And there's not much I can do about that at this point. Hey, Gooby, how's it going? Just about. Just about. Shouldn't hang around too long, though. I haven't checked in with uh, Jahira in a while. Let's go talk to her briefly. Oh. All right. What now? The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Uh, so far so good, Gooby. We just opened up the portal to the Shadowfell, which I guess really should not surprise me, but somehow it kind of did. Uh, did we already... I want to say we already had this conversation with her. A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Well, I'm not too, too worried about it. I mean, this is only one playthrough. I'm certain I'm going to have many playthroughs of this game over time. 
on stream and off. So if I close out certain things, I mean, we've already closed out certain things that I'm not going to get to experience in this run, and that's okay, because we'll get them in another run, potentially. Then speak. How did the Harpers first learn of the Absolute? The same way Harpers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. The latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. Saw firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. I wish I made a list of decisions I made so I can do an alternate playthrough. A lot of them will probably come back to you. I'm not, like, going down and writing down all the choices I make or anything like that. You know, you just kind of go do your best to choose differently. I'm glad it was you who walked through that door. Thank you. Okay. She doesn't seem to have a lot to say. So, no insight on where I might start looking for... What's his face? Roland? Let's maybe take a look at the map. God, blood, this is heavy. It's for a good cause. It looks like there's something down here I haven't really gone to. No, Gooby, I got the PS5. You don't need a third-person mod. You can't play this in first-person. Okay. Okay, so we want to go down and around. We might want to check up here. Probably not, though. It's more over here. Oh, it's not that so much as you can just use the sticks to very easily control where the camera is. And I'm finding I really enjoy playing it this way. It feels a bit more immersive. Actually, in a lot of surprising ways, I'm finding I really actually like the PS5 version of the game better than the PC version. I didn't think I would because I don't generally like playing with controller, but there's a lot of things about this edition of the game that it just seems to work better, even with the controller. Okay, um... Oh, I completely missed my turn. Can I... There we go. Pickets, ballistas, siege engines. A little old fashioned, too. Hundred years? More? Interesting. Switch to mouse and keyboard for combat, though. 
I don't know. I haven't found it to be too bad. I actually, honestly, I do find it a little more cumbersome using the controller for combat, but that's actually a good thing. It forces me to slow down a little bit more and consider my options for how best to act. And I think in the long term, that might improve my combat performance. Fallen druids of the Emerald Enclave. They died trying to stop Catherick Thorne long ago. Right back over here, Bob. Also, right up ahead there. And there. And over there. All kinds of them. Yeah, I went into this with the kind of thinking that I would give it a try playing with controller and maybe I'd be able to put it up with it well enough to try playing it when we got to Baldur's Gate because I suspect the PS5 will run Baldur's Gate, the city itself, better than my PC will. But I might just keep playing on PS5 because I like the interface so much and I like the perspective that I'm able to get with it. It's just generally, I really, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, and I... <laughs> I still haven't made it over there. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Oh, are you going to make me jump down again, too? Wow. Uh, Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart. Really? Can't afford to stay idle. And yet, you're staying idle. No! These guys, I swear. Looking ahead. Oh, uh, right. Lissandra. I'm sure that's true. That's got to be true. Okay, so we're going this way. Aren't we? Yes. She saw a wolf. Probably. Uh, okay, so... This way. This looks familiar. No traps, please. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Lovely. Now that's probably going to be a mimic too. Um, oops. Shadow cur oh god, vine blights. No time for mercy. Oh, 
Always fun to find these packs of splintery jerks. Yeah, I guess so. Rude. And I'm gonna die before we even get a move on. was a good one. Can't have disadvantage. Okay, fine. It was worth a shot. Im oh, right. No curse. No. Where is it? Protection from energy. Mirror image. No. What the? What happened to that fancy spell that she can cast that surrounds herself with the stuff that attacks the stuff? And, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, there we go. This part is annoying. You have to look where it says damage, you only get that tiny little icon to distinguish them. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Never mind. The lawnmower spell, yes.
Oh, did they just... Inexcusably rude. Oh, Arabella's Shadow Entangle. Entangle undead and shadow creatures? Turnabout is fair play. What do you mean, invalid target? Shadow creatures are like undead, not plants. Must have advantage. I really have to load these guys up with appropriate items. Yeah, that is right. So you've only got the one little tiny icon. Damn it. Oh, nope, nope, mm, nope, never mind. Oh, it uh, just reconnected me to the chat room again. If I missed anything after Anstara's last message, shadow creatures, undead, not plants, I didn't actually get to see that. Okay, excellent. Come on, make up your mind. I'm thinking maybe Grease next turn. What do you mean, disadvantage? He's invisible. Is he still entangled? He better not still be entangled. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Not 
Not enough movement. Okay. My faith will protect me. Okay. No, I think we're okay there. It's not dead yet. Thirteen left. Ah, rude.
Nicely done, Gale. And now we just got this jerk back here. Oh! What do you mean you're not dead yet? How dare you? That's better. Miss this. Have you? Have you really? Pain in the butt fight. Looks like a thing. I found the vine blights were less annoying than the needle blights, but their leader? Yeah, I fought the leader once. It was not fun. I had to reload, and I did not go back. Gail, what are you doing? Frost Prince. Each sapphire feels like a tiny shard of sharpen sharpened ice. Okay, let's get out of here. This place is annoying. Now, oh, that looks like that was about the end of it, except there's a climbing path up there, isn't there? Because look at that. That looks traversable. But how the heck do you get there unless you're going up through here somehow? I won that fight, but it was unexpected and put a hurting on me. I have leveled at least once or twice since then, so I should probably try it again. I just really don't want to. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe later. Looks like the Dryder's caravan came from here. They won't be needing this place again. I wonder what's down there. It looks very inviting. Now, if I wait a little while, that path will open up again, right?
Oh. Whoops. I'm gonna save, just in case. Can we get up here? Yep, yeah. okay, so... Yeah, that seems to be gone. Um... You know what? I don't think this is how you get over there. I don't see any way to jump. Nope, maybe not. Okay. Oh, of course, half the party stayed behind. Okay. Well, I'm guessing Roland isn't around here then. I'm not sure what to make of this, though. That really does look like some place we should be able to get to somehow. I guess we have to go back around there and start poking around that area. This is also probably a thing that fallen members hmm. of the Emerald Enclave, casualties in the war against Catherick Thorn years past. No, okay, doesn't want to use that and can't go there. Stop that. Ooh. Nice. I always like finding the trap disarm toolkits because I don't seem to find nearly as many of them as I do the uh, lockpick sets. Okay, we haven't really gone down that way any. Mostly because we haven't really explored the toll house at all. Help wanted. Hauliers and merchants wanted. Sail the silvery seas, gaze upon the gate. No experience required. No problem, Greeny, no problem. I'm going to have to raid out of here very shortly myself anyway. Forgive. Forgive. 
I don't think I'm going to be doing a bonus stream on Wednesday or Thursday. But I'm thinking about maybe doing one tonight. Probably Starfield. I don't know that I really need to stealth around this area. We've been through here quite a bit and killed most of the stuff around. It's just such a creepy area. Stealth feels like the way to go. And what is down further this way? I guess we can explore some of the side paths. I think this is part of the tavern, though. Yeah, okay, that's Waning Moon. We do need to go there. We do need to do that. I can't really say that I'm looking forward to it. Oh, crap, right? Oh, shoot. That's the Githyanki battle. You know, I'm looking forward to the Gith Yankee battle even less than I'm looking forward to the Waning Moon. Which means I think we're kind of at a standstill and maybe this is not a bad time to wrap up. So let me hit save on here. I think we're going to keep on using the PlayStation version of the game for now, guys. I'm really seriously impressed with it. It's really, really good. The interface is great. And the performance is fantastic. I, I'm thoroughly impressed. I think we're just going to keep going with this one for now. Yeah, that is true. I had a severely awkward position last time I tried it. That That's also a thing. All right, guys. I think we're going to raid, and I think we're going to do some Starfield tonight. I, I'm really thinking I would like to do that. I might give you a little bit of the tour of the ship that I've built up in my uh, custom game, like my off-stream game, rather. But it might be fun as well just to maybe build it into something similar with the one we got. In some ways, the one I've got on stream is more advanced because I'm a bit higher level on stream than I am off. But in other ways, I, I know so much more about the shipbuilding stuff now than I did when the last time I streamed Starfield that uh, my off stream game is actually quite a bit more advanced in other ways. It's also very ugly, I have to admit, because I just haven't had the money to make it look really pretty. But uh, I like some of the capabilities it's got at least. So, maybe I'll show it, or maybe we'll just build the new ship. I'm not sure yet. Let's see who's live. Ah, okay, I know exactly where we're going. Let's do another Baldur's Gate streamer, who was here in chat roughly four minutes ago. We're going to go visit Greeny. Hammer, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. This was really fun. I had, uh, you know, concerns, or not really concerns. I had, I was hesitant to play Baldur's Gate instead of Starfield, because I really wanted to play Starfield, but I'm so glad that I did Baldur's Gate. We got so much done today. I've started upgrading the old Frontier in my game, just improving basic. Oh yeah, I haven't, my ship is still the Frontier. It's just, you would hardly recognize it anymore. I'm not certain whether it actually has any original pieces left. Maybe, a, I think some of the weapons are still original, but that's about it. But even those, I've started pulling off some of the weapons and replacing those too. Uh, so yeah, let's get over to Greeny's channel and see what's going on with him. So we're going to go raid Greeny. I will get you guys the raid call. 
here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, It's a Library Raid. Um, okay, it's going to be a quiet raid. Sorry, uh, it looks like it looks like the outro music is not working. That's okay. We'll go over and raid, and I'll see you guys over in Greedy's channel in a few, and I will almost certainly see you back here tonight again for some Starfield. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I will catch you again soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.